Traveling, holiday, adventures, everyone loves that. When we're traveling, we change our surrounding. Living our daily life routines open up to new experiences and new perspectives. It's definitely a whole lot of fun, and it's really helpful to heal burnout, tiredness, and even depression that comes from our day-to-day -day life. There's also some other way to refresh and recharge. It is by romanticizing our daily life, giving meaning to our daily routines. Maybe our routines are so general, a lot of people also had similar routines. But everyone doing it differently. By giving meaning on everything that we do, it becomes something special that only we can do it in our own way. Inside of every person, there's a whole world itself that's worth of to be ventured. This world is very special and specific for each person, full of twists and turns, and we won't be able to fully finish our observation of this world inside of us because we will constantly change as it is normal in life. That's why it's even more important to do this inner traveling thing I'm pretty sure every one of us had been traveling into our past or future inside our mind. The past is in the past, we cannot do much about it. The future is important but sometimes it's overly exaggerated. The other possibility for our state of mind while we're living in the present moment, we let our mind work on autopilot, meaning we use the already formed old programming to respond to any situations in our present moment life. That's when we find out that we feel stuck in life.
rather than we let our mind to go on autopilot or wandering into the past or future, we can choose to use our mind to travel right in this present moment, to go deeper with what actually happened in our mind. That's an adventure in itself. When we do this, we will feel everything intensified. Happiness, sadness, excitement, boredom, it's all raw in the present moment. Sometimes it will just become too overwhelmed. But we just need to stay, feel everything, not running away, distract ourselves or even fan those emotions to other people. Just sit there with the emotions, accept everything in the present moment just as it is. After doing that for a while, we will develop a curiosity of why we feel what we feel. We will start digging more into our inner core. We will start discovering things that we didn't realize before. We will start to find the unexpected side of ourselves. This whole process awakening another part of me that I didn't even know before. It's most likely we got the benefit of physical traveling, learn new things and view life from different perspectives. a reflection of my crowded mind. I used to be overwhelmed with my own mind. It still is until now. But when doing this inner journey, I felt like more at ease with myself. I can accept my crowded mind as it is, 
not letting it to take control over my sanity. And I can even make use of my crowded mind to create beautiful things. I can put pretty colors to my crowded mind as I pour it into my painting. One more thing that I find out about myself that I didn't know before, I'm so into Meta Head topic. That's why I choose to voice over this video with this kind of talk. It's a precious find for myself. So, aside from planning vacation for healing from time to time, let's just put this inner traveling onto our schedule too. It's even better when we can do both, refreshing our mind, 
body and soul, so we can finally come closer to our true self. I hope you are no longer a mystery to yourself, and always remember the journey is a destination. Even if it's only a small step, you are moving forward.